Hell Let Loose is a 2019 game developed on Unreal Engine 4, and these are its minimum system requirements, since it was recently available for free on the Epic Games Store, so I thought, why not make a video about it? So today in this video, I'll guide you on how to maximize performance for Hell Let Loose on integrated graphics machines, so without further ado, let's get started. To begin, I'll run the game on my integrated graphics. The screen resolution is set to 1080p. Also, the game restricts resolutions below 1024 by 768 p and the resolution scaler is at 50%, but you can reduce it further if needed. But for now, I'm keeping it at 50%, and all other graphic settings are configured to the lowest preset. Unfortunately, there are three settings that cannot be lowered or turned off, as the game restricts them to high and medium. This is disappointing because these settings significantly impact FPS. Well, now let's see how the game performs with these settings. Well, the game is still quite playable with these settings, but we're always aiming for higher FPS. So let's exit the game and explore what tweaks we can apply to boost its performance even further. The configuration file for this game can be found in your hidden app data folder. Under Local, HLL folder, Saved, Config, then Windows No Editor. Now you need to open this file with Notepad. The first key here, it controls the resolution scaler of the game, and you can modify it by entering custom values to experiment with different levels of performance and visual quality. But for now, I'll leave it as it is. Next, you'll see the three settings that couldn't be lowered below high or medium in the in-game settings. Fortunately, you can disable them by changing their values to zero in the configuration file. Disabling these settings will provide a significant boost to your FPS. Now these two variables control the screen resolution of the game. While the game doesn't allow resolutions lower than 1024 by 768 p through the in-game settings, here's the good news. You can set any custom resolution by entering your desired width and height values here. So I'm setting it to 960 by 540 p But you can go even lower if you need more performance. So if these manual changes seem difficult, you can easily download the pre-made configuration file from the video description. Well, after making the adjustments, save the file and set its attributes to read-only to prevent the game from overwriting your modifications, now let's test the game one last time. Please don't judge the FPS based on the current footage as I'm recording my screen, which takes up a lot of resources, but without recording, I'm getting 55 to 59 FPS, and sometimes even more. Well, so that's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also share this video with your friends who have low-spec machines so they can also enjoy playing Hell Let Loose as well. And I'll see you all again in the next video, so until then, take care and bye.